The purpose of the tour is to um, share not only about the history of Rwanda, uh, most especially about the genocide against the Tutsis in 1994, but then also to share about the lessons that Rwanda can teach the world. And uh, to teach the world that after tragedy that people can live together. Uh, because we believed that the issues that Rwandans went through are issues that are very permanent around the world and issues that are happening all over the world. But as a generation that came right after the genocide, I think that we have a lot to teach to the world and that's what the tour uh, was created to do. It was also created to build relationship with different universities and different uh, institutions in the U.S. so that we could also build a program that is not only national but also international. I was very lucky to be part of the team that went to the U.S. in the last year, 2018. It was amazing. Having a chance of representing your country, having a chance of talking about your country's history that you're really connected to, and also having a chance of making sure that people in the house can learn about your country. What we did basically was do debates and um, do presentations about um, our country, the genocide before, during and after the genocide. I think it was very important to see the perspectives of the actual uh, people from Rwanda uh, instead of kind of reading about what happened in Rwanda. So I think um, that was very a good learning experience and I really enjoyed it. I want you guys to imagine whether you're attending a class of uh, more than 40 people who've never heard of Africa. And you're going to talk to them about a small country in Africa, Rwanda. And you're going to start with a sad history of the genocide. And again, you have to bring them back to the image of what Rwanda is today. It's such a hard job, it's such a hard task, because first of all, you have to make sure that people understand the genocide, and then you have to make sure that people who committed genocide and people who survived genocide are the people again who came back and built the nation. One of the things that, the line that gave me goosebumps that really hit me was how you said, there are people that have to live with the people that committed the genocide in Rwanda, you know? So what is our excuse here in the United States for a, say a Hillary supporter to not want to interact across that different ideological barrier with say, a Trump supporter. I really love the Rwandan debate team and I love working with them. I mean, to me, they are uh, global champions of the kind of values that I promote here in the United States. I think that Rwanda is itself a story of not just tragedy, but actually incredible overcoming and perseverance and idealism in itself. And so it's really special to me the last four years to have the Rwandan debate team uh, visit. I mean, I've been so inspired that I, the first country I went to outside the United States was Rwanda. The tour is a lot of work. So, for example, uh, in all the places that we'll go, we'll spend three days in one place. Uh, we'll do, we'll wake up really, really early. Uh, most of the time we'll wake up at around six or five in order to be in time for our events and then come home at about midnight. And then even when we come home, we had to do work. Uh, this is one of the many early mornings that we had to endure. It's cold, even the knees and ears are shaking. We're just tired, just, you know, can't wait to get to George Washington. But we're probably going to take this opportunity to sleep. The 2018 uh, iDebate tour, that was the best one that we have had. Uh, it was the longest. Uh, for the first time, we had uh, two teams. Uh, there's a team that was on the West Coast and a team on the East Coast. The tour, we went to about uh, 15 states in the United States and more than 27 universities and high schools over the period of three months. Um, this tour was also great because we had the chance to have a lot of new uh, universities. And, but the highlight for me for the tour was when uh, Mecca and Kelia won the Rollins Cup um, right before they came back to Rwanda. But I'd like to also thank Victor and Loan for the great job that they did. Spending time with them was uh, really great. So great job to Victor and Loan and also Sharif and Eric. Um, there was a competition between both teams. And one of the things that Team 2 did well, better than all of us, they knew how to dance. Uh, at some point we thought that they didn't come to the US tour, that they came for America Got Talent. Today is cultural showcase. So don't be surprised if people are speaking here and there. Bravo. Bravo. We won that. Tomorrow, we won. Uh, we won. Mumeze, Mute. Mese, Nisa. Great job. 
مره تازه چند We do fun things. We visit a lot of parks. We went to Universal Studios. That was fun, man. It, it definitely was the funnest thing alive. It felt like a movie. We're gonna talk about the very different things that we find here in America. The weird things that people do. Okay. First of all, people here walk fast. They, they walk are fast. fast. They don't have time to breathe. People here walk fast. It's time like is you're time. In the gym. Yeah, and then also taking orders for food. Oh God, taking wow. orders for food is a stressful <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> to talk about the outcome of uh, the tour, um, despite the fact that we, uh, the greatest impact was the students that we talked to, but there's a few outcomes that came out of that. The first thing is that the one was uh, offered by a scholarship by the dean of Weber State University. Um, he saw her debate and he said that he would be honored for her to come. Uh, Kelly, for her, she also got offered um, a few schools. Uh, they, they loved her and they thought she was brilliant. And I would like to take this opportunity first uh, to thank a few people. Um, the first group that I would thank is the whole team uh, that went to the U.S. Um, I would like to also thank the parents. Uh, thank you for trusting us with your children and for allowing us to be with them for two, three months. And uh, for all the work that you did before, allowing us to work with them for uh, all the nine months before. Um, I would like to also thank a lot of the universities uh, that welcomed us. But most of all, um, every team would know that the best times that we had is when we had run and communities welcoming us in their universities. Thank you to Alex and uh, Lilian and Getty and Shama for welcoming us in your home. Thank you to the embassy in DC for all the help that you gave us. So we would like to take this opportunity to ask all of you who are here uh, to join us. Uh, join us. We can ensure you that our kids are brilliant. We can ensure you that if they are invested in, we can do wonderful things. And to make sure that not only are we building world-class debaters, but then we're also building confident students who can go anywhere in the world and still strive. So join us in this, uh, in this work and be a partner that uh, you give us the resources and uh, your time and money so that we can make sure that we think and speak a better world. Thank you.